Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Now recently I was challenged to convert an old cooler into something a bit more Star Wars-y for an upcoming auction. So in this video, I'm going to be doing just that and I'm taking you along with me. So let's get to it. I started by applying some clear coat to these laser cut panels that I designed in Illustrator. The clear coat acts as a sealant and prevents the MDF from absorbing the top coat of paint and leaving a patchy finish. And after the clear coat dried, I could apply this light cream color top coat and then set it aside to dry. While I wait, I grabbed some 120 grit sandpaper and began to scuff up the surfaces where I'd be applying the panels. This should give the five minute epoxy something to hold on to, ensuring that these panels stay put for a long time. Once the panels were dry, I mixed up some epoxy and spread it across the cooler surface and then set my first panel in place. Then I could drill some pilot holes and add some hex head screws for a mechanical connection. I repeated these steps for the opposite side, and then it was time to add some details to the cooler to help break up the shape a bit. I had 3D printed this piece for another project and felt that it would be a good addition to the cooler. So I mixed up a bit more epoxy and got to gluing it in place. When I started thinking about the design for this cooler, I knew that I wanted to have some kind of hose or tubing integrated into the panels. So I took this piece, plus another part that I 3D modeled and printed, and marked out its position on the panel. Then I could use a Forstner bit to make a small recessed mounting hole. Switching gears, I laid out a handful of greeblies and hit them all with a coat of rubberized spray. This helps to quickly minimize some of the layer lines and gives them a more water resistant coating. I wanted to make a few of these parts more interesting, so I applied a bit of spray adhesive which adds a fine texture, and once they were dry I painted them imperial red. The remaining greeblies will get a layer of gloss clear coat, and then I'll apply a bit of Beskar chrome with my airbrush, courtesy of Imperial Surface. Oh, and be sure to wear a respirator. Now that all my pieces have been painted, I can get down to installing everything. Like before, all of these parts will be applied with a bit of two-part epoxy and some hex head screws as needed. Now we get to the fun part, adding decals. I took a break from the build to apply some of my Galaxy's Edge inspired decals to the cooler. You can grab a set for yourself in my Etsy shop if you have a project that needs a bit of that industrial in-universe look. And I'll leave a link down in the video description. With my decals applied, I can get back to adding the final bits and pieces to this build. And then it's time to tackle the lid which has a logo and a ruler formed in the plastic. Thankfully, a palm sander with 80 grit paper makes quick time of removal. And once I've got it flattened out, I'll add a few more laser cut panels with epoxy and screws, and then we can get down to weathering. 
I have a few different videos on weathering, and I'll leave links to them in the video description. But for this project, I'm mixing up some brown and black acrylic paint with water, and I'm liberally applying it across the surface before removing it with a rag. I'll repeat this step a few times until I'm happy with how everything looks. I'll also add in some areas of rust to give all of our Greeblies a bit more of a realistic appearance. Then it's one final check, and I think this cooler project is complete. And there you have it. A cooler that will work for an Imperial or Rebel base on any planet of your choosing, except for maybe Mustafar. I'd like to thank Sam over at Imperial Surface for providing me with the can of Aluma Luster for this build. And be sure to check out their website for their entire line of products. Well, that's gonna do it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, but most importantly, go make something.